But stay a while longer on education because the General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Nat Thomas Musatanko, says leadership of the association will deal with all members who fail to respect the code of conduct governing the association. He was addressing teachers and some bereaved families of nine pupils of St. Charles Luanga Junior High School who died in a boat accident. The General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, was in Saboba with some regional and district members of the association to commiserate with the bereaved families of nine pupils who died in a boat accident. His first point of call was at the palace of the overlord of the Saboba traditional area, Matea John Bowen. While there, Thomas Musa lauded the chief and his people for ensuring the safety of the remaining teachers in the area. He called for more cooperation and collaboration between the association and the chiefs. That whatever that together with the education people can do to ensure that going forward, these things do not repeat or do not occur any time again, we will certainly get it done. So, Together, we will help them get the children trained. The delegation then moved to interact with family members of the nine deceased pupils. Thomas Musa assured the bereaved families that the association will take steps to prevent any future occurrence. Spokesperson for the affected families, Jason Ngobi, reiterated the incident was an act of God and appealed for the head teacher to be freed. The parents here, we are ready to show the whole world that we need peace. It isn't the man's intention to have gone to let the children drown. So if you are attacking him, what are we benefiting from that? On Friday, November 12, nine pupils of the St. Charles Luanga Junior High School in the Saboba district drowned and died while returning from their head teacher's farm. The head teacher, who was arrested by police in Saboba, has since been remanded into prison custody by a Tamale magistrate court. He is to reappear on November 29.